Oh my god. and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlogmas video and in today's video I'll be showing you how we make our delicious moist black cake and this is the black cake here so if you guys are interested in seeing how I make my delicious not too sweet moist black cake then continue watching this video Okay, so to make this black cake, you would need mixed essence and vanilla essence. You would need molasses, brown in. You would need some cherry brandy and some rum if you have any. Maybe like about a quarter cup or so. You would need the fruits, your soaked fruits. It should be soaked in rum as well. You will need baking powder. You would need lime zest, butter, eggs, flour, cinnamon, sugar and we are adding some nuts into this black cake so we bought the almond nuts okay so get you a big bowl and put your two butter inside you're adding three cups of sugar if you want it a little sweet more on the sweeter side add three and a half cups Take your hand mixer and just mix everything together real quick. Grab down these sides when you finish and then we are going in with 8 eggs. Okay, Ollie, add the eggs one at a time so just in case one rotten no, Ollie, you know, Ollie, and spoil any whole bowl of, uh, you know, butter. After mixing all the egg and everything together, this is the consistency of the batter. So now we're going to add all the essence. So you're going to add one and a half teaspoons of mixed essence. You're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You're going to add two teaspoons of the zest, the lime zest, and you're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of the Angostura bitters or three dashes of the Angostura bitters and you want to mix everything up again make sure it's nice and evenly combined in another bowl we are going to add three and a half cups of flour four teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of salt and we are going to sift this into the mixture. You don't need to mix the flour in the bowl because we're going to sift it anyways. So sift it in batches so you'll do like one third each time and try not to mix as much. So use a whisk that would help mix it faster, better. So use a whisk and just mix, mix it in nice and easy so that way you wouldn't get a stiff cake right so just go ahead and mix out everything and then i'll get back to you with the consistency and how it looks so this is basically how it is y'all it's thick it's almost like peanut butter texture peanut butter if you don't put it in the fridge um texture consistency that is it there it's very thick but you all don't worry when we add the fruits it would give it some moisture so y'all trust me just trust the process okay 
and this is my soaked fruits I am sorry that I don't have a um, fruits recipe for y'all but because this fruit been soaking since last year but we're going ahead with this anyway so you're adding about this amount five times but I'm doing it um, three times first mix that in and then add the other two see that's how it's looking I add it in batches to manage the consistency of the cake batter try not to mix it but try try to fold in the fruits and not mix it because once you add that flour in every mixing after that is going to get it stiff so try not to do any plenty mixing when you mix it and this goes for any cakes don't mix too much once you add that flour right so now I'm going in with my brownie I'm using about I think I use about half a cup almost three quarters of a cup of brownie you all that bro that browning is real too too don't buy it I would recommend try another brand because that one is too much a browning to use anyways I use a tablespoon of molasses and this is the color that I got with the two and now I'm adding my nuts and you all this this these nuts give this cake a different texture you all I love it I will start putting it in every black cake that I make you all it was so different so I'm not mixing as you can see I'm just kind of poking the nuts into the batter the cake batter yeah little daughter she's always helping me out she's always doing something in the kitchen with me so she's buttering these pans nice and you know. Okay, so now we're going to pour it in the pans. In total, I got three cakes. One big one and two small ones. We all see that consistency. Perfect. Perfect for black cake if you want that moisture. So you want to put this in the oven at 300 for two hours. Yes, two hours only. Trust the process. Y'all, you will get some moist, delicious cake. Trust me. So these cakes are done. I am going to take them out of the oven. And let me show you what I do after that. Okay, so this cake is done. And how you know for sure is that you check to make sure the sides are pulled away from the pan as well as these little cracks here you're seeing it's perfect so just to you know be extra extra sh sure i'm using a skewer and i'm just going to poke smooth it's nice and dry so this is done so what i'm going to do now is pour some cherry brandy and i'm just going to pour about a quarter cup of cherry brandy Right, base it nice and right. You just leave this here to cool completely, and then once it's cool completely, we're going to cut it, and I'll show you all the inside. So that's the end of this video guys you all this cake mm -mm -mm. oh my god y'all mm -mm 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 -mm. cake is so moist and so juicy y'all uh, and the and the almond nuts in this year give it such an uh, a different texture y'all it's like eating you know those um those kiss brownies that they have with the little nuts inside picture that in the black black cake version of it y'all mm, perfect perfect so i hope you guys do enjoy this video i hope you guys try my recipe let me know down in the comment section how it came out for you guys 
and I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye.